If one comes to call vengeance justice, such justice will only breed further vengeance. What's up, YouTube? It's this Crash Batch here, back here with another video for everybody. And today we're gonna be talking about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This game is going to be very interesting. Honestly, I was actually surprised by this game, but because for the fact that this is made by the same people who made the Arkham Batman games, and you know how great those games are. The Batman games are fire. Rocksteady has always been fire with the Batman games, so I have high hopes for the Suicide Squad game. But when I think about this game, and I remember watching the trailer, and I was like, hmm, I never really thought about a Suicide Squad game, which really has me interested in the game. That's why it's so interesting, because it's like, would you really thought about making a Suicide Squad game about killing the Justice League? And how big is the Justice League? Like, obviously, this is not like the Injustice Justice League. This is like the, you know, Justice League, Justice League, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter. The list goes on to how many people it can be that the Suicide Squad has to fight. Now, I'm not saying the Suicide Squad can't do it, but they're going to have quite the time just being able to go against people like Batman. Batman has a plan for everything, alright? Is Batman even going to be in this game? Like, is the only Just League member going to be Superman? I highly doubt that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Superman is just one man himself that's got a lot to handle. But I'm pretty sure that should already know his weakness. But it's not like it's going to be real easy to get to him. But regardless of that, if this going to be the Justice League, then that's a lot just for the Suicide Squad to handle. And don't get me wrong, you know, Captain Boomerang, Harley Quinn, and King Shark, they're all very capable people. And Deadshot, they're a very capable group together. But the take on the Justice League is a task that I feel like that's just kind of beyond them. Now, if they ask some other people like Delstro or some other, like, you know, very popular Batman villains or some very other, you know, just villains in general that's in the DC Universe to go against the Justice League, then, yeah, I can see that. I can see how that can really work. But they definitely gonna need an extra hand or two for this, cause this is this is not a simple job. This isn't like you just going on taking Superman by himself, or it's taking Superman by himself is a job in its own right. Like, look at this guy. Look at Superman. Look at Superman. He he looks like he's helping somebody. And you see you see him with the the big red cape and the S on his chest. Like, you really think you can stop Superman? Like, look at this guy, man. This some real injustice type vibes, and I'm really digging it. I like the dialogue in this game so much already. I just really hope the gameplay can keep up, but I'm not too much worried because I feel like Rocksteady can handle it. I feel like Rocksteady can really do a good job. At this. I hope Batman is going to be in this game. I hope the rest of the Justice League members are going to be in this game. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but I really want to see them in the game. I don't know. You guys can be thinking about below about whether or not you think that the rest of the Justice League members are going to be in the Soul Squad Kill the Justice League game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.